In tonight's Fox 7 Focus, a Uvalde County grand jury is now investigating the flawed police response to the massacre at Robb Elementary back in May of 2022 and could possibly bring criminal charges. I spoke with Stephanie Sherman, an attorney representing some of the victims' families in a federal lawsuit. I began by asking about the significance of the grand jury being seated in the first place. It's very significant, John, because it's extremely rare for criminal charges to be uh, charged against any kind of police or law enforcement, especially for a school shooting. For example, in 2018 in the Parkland, Florida shooting, that law, law enforcement, he was the police, school police, and he was actually um, acquitted of all charges for uh, endangerment of children in that case. So it's extremely, extremely rare. So you're representing families connected to the Uvalde massacre in a federal lawsuit. What impact, if any, could this grand jury and a possible indictment have on that case? On the case against the police officers in the school, that doesn't really change too much if there is these charges because we still have enough evidence from the DOJ report to be able to move forward with our constitutional law claims. Of course, I think it would be great if there were indictments handed down because that's certainly what the families are wanting. They want real accountability and that would be real accountability. And speaking of the families, what's their reaction been to this grand jury? Families are relieved. They're they're very thrilled that this is going this far, but you know, they're very still still very disappointed because it took so long and they don't have any certainty that actually indictments are going to be handed down because the grand jury has to make decisions. They have to review the evidence and then charges may or may not be filed. And then after that, if that goes to a jury, there's still a lot of unknowns. They'd like to see terminations and other things that would really like sort of nail this down. So what do you think? I mean, what are you expecting from this process? Do you think it'll take months like some people are saying? So we're already in January 2024, and the district attorney in Uvalde has had this information within days of the shooting. And I saw some in, in some reports that she was saying that she'll need well into 2024 to review this information. I think she has enough. She has enough to move forward with indictments because you have a situation where police were at the school, they had the training, and they knew what they were supposed to do, and deliberately were indifferent. They delayed and therefore endangered the children. And also restricting her parents from going in and rescuing children. And then they're exacerbating an already dangerous situation by not taking action. And of course that grand jury was seated just a day after that scathing report from the Department of Justice. What sticks out to you in that report? It's an urgent call to action. It, it has over 200, 273 recommendations. And so the attorney general is really coming down on everything that went wrong. And as a priority, it's this active shooter training. And so to me, it's, it's an urgent call to action on that piece and also command control. So this was an epic failure of leadership. And you can hear echo throughout the report that there was no command structure. There were no tools in place. They didn't have the right radios. They weren't communicating. That to me was the second thing that really stood out in the report. So how confident are you that these changes will actually happen? I think we will see changes because of this report because you have the Department of Justice putting its stamp on the 600 page report. And they rarely get involved with things going on at the state level. And here they jumped in, I think giving that stamp to this to this is going to see change. That's sort of because and now the whole world is watching. America is watching. Everyone's watching now. And the families are asking, now what? Great, we have this huge report. Now what? Now what are we going to do with this information to make sure that these school shootings stop? And this week, some of the survivors of the shooting gathered to call for the responding officers to be fired.